What up, Greater Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. And Mike. And this high school football video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event, something they've been doing in Long Beach for over 30 years. Deja vu all over again for La Mirada, the defending state champions hosting their second straight CIF Southern Section Final against Edison. Yeah, the Chargers won the Sunset League, led by quarterback Griffin O'Connor. He's been he's playing for the 31st year head coach Dave White, who is retiring at the end of the season. La Mirada coach Mike Machete got a breakout year from his senior quarterback Tristan Meyer, and the Meradores fans are ready to celebrate like they just won a Grammy again. Strange start for a strange game, though. O'Connor's pass is tipped and picked by Sean Swain, and then a few plays later, Meyer is stripped. Give me the loot, give me the loot. Melvin Bowden is, recovers it, and we're going the other. Way. So usually it's go charges go through the air, but running back Jack Carmichael was driving them on the ground, a real game changer. You might not see him on this play, neither did the La Mirada defense as he rolls for a 21-yard touchdown to put Edison up 7-0. to zero. This just a few minutes in on the ensuing La Mirada drive, they got a good running back of their own. Nick Hernandez, Matadores, leaning on 34. He plays till the whistle, Mike. All the way to the whistle. Oh, for sure. And that was a late whistle on this one as he steps up and the huge block from Meyer is going to spring him for a big gain. That drive is going to lead to a field goal to cut the lead to 7-3. to three. Obviously tough for them that they couldn't come away with a touchdown, especially because Edison answers with not one, but two pints of Guinness. I always told you, Mike, it takes two in the morning. O'Connor hits EJ Guinness on back-to-back -back plays and the wide receiver's feet do the rest as he goes in here. For the touchdown, Edison goes up 14-3, and you could feel things were definitely going the road team's way. For sure, and then on this huge third down pickup, Meyer to Hernandez, the next La Mirada drive. Hernandez obviously so good at keeping his feet moving, then Meyer's going to see Elijah Hicks with single coverage, lets his playmaker, well, he made a play, Hicks down to the one. And then Meyer's going to punch it in two plays later to make it 14 to 10. Student section proclaiming, we are Iron Man. On the ensuing kickoff, Edison fumbles? Well, it looked like they did, and the ball was given to La Mirada, but then the play was overturned, so the ball is given back to Edison, and Carmichael is going to make that hurt with a big run. He would score a play later. This is going to put Edison up 21 to 10, so obviously you can't oversell how big that call is because if it's a La Mirada ball, that might have been a 14-point swing right there. And then with 25 seconds left, the Chargers get a stop, get the ball back, get into Matador's territory, and O'Connor, ooh, killing him with the read option. That happened a lot tonight. Stunned would be an understatement for La Mirada fans, and at the half, Edison is up 28-10. Obviously, La Mirada, a very explosive team, certainly hoping to get some momentum in the second half, but Jaleel Jackson would deliver. Straight up to my face, forces the fumble. La Mirada now has some momentum. So Meyer going for it all a few plays later, but he's going to want that one back. Looked like the ball slipped off his hand, and he's going to leave it short for Hicks as Hicks falls down. McCade Barrett chucks up the deuce. If you're going to pick it, you got a six it one cut back a 90 yard touchdown return to put Edison up 35 to 10 and that's kind of a backbreaker. Oh yeah, you could definitely feel it on the Lamarada sideline how much that one hurt, but Hicks and the Matador is fighting for every opportunity to get back into this game. Meyer is going to step back and hit Jeremy Clark. Oh, it's Postmates for the touchdown. <laughs> Edison lead cut to 35-16. And on the ensuing kickoff, it's an onside. Kicker Brandon Petruscu is going to bounce past that thing to Angel Favela. Can't advance an onside kick, so that doesn't go for six. But stop me if you've seen this a minute ago. Meyer on Clark Street on the post in for a second touchdown in just a couple minutes. Matadores get the two-point conversion to cut the lead to 10, and they're feeling like they might have this thing back. But O'Connor shows poise, gets the Chargers back down the field, huge fourth down pickup, and they would kick a field goal. Hernandez taking it for La Mirada to get back in Edison territory. 24 carries, 184 yards for him. But inside the five yard line, La Mirada has two shots and they throw both times into pretty heavy coverage. And that was the last chance as Edison would score a late touchdown. And they hold on to win this thing. 44 to 24 to end La Mirada's pretty impressive streak over the last two years with how well they played. A few wins over some Trinity League teams, but Edison head coach Dave White goes out a champion. 
Well, and that's obviously uh, special for Coach White in his 31st year. Quarterback Griffin O'Connor set school records for single season touchdowns and yardage in this. So a special night for the Chargers, to be sure. Thanks, as always, to all of our sponsors, including Papa Lucci's, a great place to eat on 2nd Street. More championship football coming to you on Saturday night, and you're going to find all the coverage right here at GazetteSports.com and the Press-Telegram.